resveratrol and a lot of other polyphenols have been shown to improve blood flow and endothelial function. Uh, and I think there is potentially something to that. Uh, there's also been some trials in Alzheimer's disease where it uh, is showing some indications of affecting a beta accumulation. How do you see resveratrol as a supplementation and uh, what, uh, what the current science is saying about that? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think, you know, there's, there's still always going to be these two separate questions of it. Does it have any beneficial effect? And, and if so, why? <laughs> Uh, and so I think there, there's still work going on, you know, uh, back and forth a little bit about the particular mechanism, uh, you know, whether it's really binding to CERT1, and that's really the driver uh, of some of the effects. But I think in terms of the clinical trials, um, it's been clear for the diabetes indication uh, in humans that it's not a cure the way it seems to be in the mice. Uh, there is a net benefit overall, but it's not comparable to something like metformin. And so there's, there's probably not much utility in that particular space. Um, at the same time, resveratrol and a lot of other polyphenols have been shown to improve blood flow and endothelial function. Uh, and I think there is potentially something to that. Uh, there's also been some trials in Alzheimer's disease where it uh, is showing some indications of affecting a beta accumulation. Uh, and so I, I would not in any sense be ready to say that it is not useful for something. Um, but certainly there hasn't been a straight line from the most studies we were involved in to, to uh, giving similar benefits in humans. Okay, so... Uh... I'll try to simplify to our uh, listeners. So what you are saying, there might be a value in resveratrol, but it's not yet clear what and how and how important it is as a supplement. Is it fair to say that? Yeah. And I would say the cases where it does show some promise right now in clinical trials, in many cases, that there may be, a, in many cases, effects that are more general to polyphenols, this whole class of chemicals yeah. that resveratrol belongs to. And it's not the most common one among those, you know, in, in many of the... Uh, foods that we would eat, for instance, that would have some of these beneficial molecules. So maybe another recommendation, you don't need to try to find the purer and the most expensive resveratrol. You can buy a, a simple, cheaper polyphenol and you might receive the same value as a pure resveratrol. That's uh, fair to say? I, I think with respect to blood, th blood flow and endothelial function, where, where, where there's the best evidence, I think that is true.